further discussion by speaker thank you uh, thank you mr speaker uh, representative camacho states that this issue is now moot however i beg to defer however Saipan Development LLC does not believe it's moot. The only branch of government that can determine this issue as to whether it is null and void is the court, not the Attorney General's office not the governor it's the judicial branch it's the court to decide a contract is always always between two parties one can say it is null and void and one can opine that the governor was relying, relying on the former attorney general's office. But the fact of the matter is, Saipan Development LLC has not come out publicly, has not written a statement indicating that it is null and void. And Saipan Development LLC is the other party. And just to clarify Rep Camacho's statement that this is a $70 million contract, it is not. It is a hundred ninety million dollar contract given that if this diesel power generator was to operate for the next 25 years it's gonna cost the people of the Commonwealth or the consumers of CUC roughly a little over two billion dollars not only that but the initiation of this contract at the outset requires an 18 million dollars right up front to continue moving forward with this new power plant. Eighteen million dollars that you and I and Joe and Mary and John out there will have to pay. Pay dearly as if we're not paying enough right now but an additional an additional 18 million dollars why did we come to this point well we had some secret meetings secret meetings away from the administration office away from everyone we were meeting on Sundays at hotels and discussing these issues nobody knew about it except them and then again as I stated earlier this morning the governor is not at fault again it is not his fault. 
It's the Attorney General now a fugitive. It's his fault for giving the governor this advice that the governor should sign this because it's great for the people. The governor even came out right, right after this issue was brought to light and stated that this was so good it was going to bring down the kilowatt hour to 18 cents per kilowatt hour. And I remember an engineer from CUC coming in and testifying and saying that there is no planet that can realize this kind of kilowatt hour Speaker at 18 cents. Mr. Speaker, I will yield <clears throat> for now and I'll take up uh, my second round after others uh, do want to uh, partake. Thank you. So noted. Any other member? Members are ready. It's your call, uh, Vice. I, I probably won't take up the next whole five minutes, Mr. Mr. So, so recognize them. But just to, to inform all the members here that, you know, we continue. We continue to blame others for the governor's failures. That's what we are doing here. It's all clear. The governor even stated on Isoka that he apologized and that he should be more transparent in the future. That's what he stated. Why wasn't he transparent before is the question. And why are we blaming others for a mistake that the governor has made? It's quite clear the executive orders, the emergency declaration, doesn't speak of a need for diesel generating power. The crisis was on alternative renewable and the lack thereof and other issues not for a 50 megawatt diesel power plant thank you mr speaker and members thank you vice